High Plains Best Mornings with Rudy and Moon. I, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little, <laughs> a little nervous about this. I don't understand why you're nervous. Because I don't know what to ask him. It's Mel Gibson. Yes, and we're not supposed to ask him about the only one or two things that anybody cares about. Yeah. Well, the, you know, Oksana is in did the you, news yeah, and did, the did abuse. You, and... Yeah, did you beat your, your girlfriend and are you a racist? Yeah. Beyond that, I really give a... Okay, <laughs> well, uh, he's ready for us to call him. Should we just give him a call, see what happens? Why not? All right. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask that's, that. That's how we run our business here at Mix 107.5 yeah. under the philosophy, what's the worst that could happen? All right. Calling into New York to get a hold of Mel Gibson here. Let's see how this goes. All right. That's a good start. Yep. One ringy dingy. <clears throat> Two ringy dingy. Someone answers here. Thank you for calling the Crown Plaza Uptown. How may I direct your call? Uh, yes, room number 12532, please. Yes, sir, I'll put you through. Sweet. Uh, sir, that's a passcode protected line. Do you have a passcode? Uh, yes, I believe the passcode is lethal weapon. Oh, how Thank you, know you sir. I'll put you through now. You Thank you. Wow. I told you. Where's people? Sorry for the delay. We'll There's people told me. Just a moment. It's got a lame on hold music. Mel, it's Rudy and Moon from Mix 107.5 in Clovis, New Mexico. Now, thanks for coming on with us, Mel. We understand we're not allowed to, ab- absolutely not supposed to ask you about Oksana or that whole current situation with the alleged abuse, right? What? We, we can't ask you about the whole abuse thing. What? Oh, man, he's already getting angry. Because you provoked it. Uh, easy, Mel. Easy. All right, let's just switch gears. Because you know you're wrong. Uh, maybe we should just hang up. This isn't really going very well. Don't you? Mel, I want to talk to you about your ex, your ex-wife, 80s pop queen Debbie Gibson. What? Is it true that you were the inspiration behind her hit record, Shake Your Love? Who cares? Our listeners, m- many of them are children of the 80s, you know, Lethal Weapon, Debbie Gibson. What are you hoping to accomplish with that? Uh, we-, we just wanted to do a-, a provocative interview that our listeners will enjoy. <laughs> That's provocative. <laughs> Okay. I'm lost. Uh, Mel, let, <laughs> let's get to it. A lot of people are calling you a racist. They say you're mean. I've done nothing but be nice to you. We're not talking about us. We're, we're talking about perhaps relationships you've had. How dare you? We just want the truth, Mel. <sighs> you get it now? What mean is? Get it? Yes, we get it, Mel. Are you a racist? Absolutely, unequivocally. <laughs> Now, I think we should let you go, man. You're getting upset, and that really wasn't our intention. Stay on this phone and don't hang on for me. I can. I have plenty of energy to drive over there. You understand me? Oh, it's a long drive, Mel. And I will. Is it... You hang up. I'm coming over there. Is it black people you don't like? Yes. Mexicans? Yes. Muppets? What? I, I said Muppets. Do you not like Muppets? Yes. Hard to believe, Mel. Hard to believe. Uh, what, what exactly do you have against Muppets? I mean, come on, Kermit the Frog. Hi-ho! They look stupid, I'm just telling you. It's just an appraisal. Keep them if you want. Look stupid. Kermit the Frog? An American hero? An American icon? What would you say to him? I don't trust you. I don't love you. And that green thing today was enough. Okay, well, Mel, we, we gotta move on, man. If you do that, it's over. Yeah, we know. I need a woman! <laughs> we sp- I just need a nice woman to look at. My beautiful daughter. <laughs> we suspect Whoa. that's the root of the problem, Mel. Uh, but we haven't talked to your therapist, so who knows? You wanted the number of my therapist? No. Don't you ever speak to him. Goodbye, Mel. You got out of here in record time. It seems like an eternity to us, but thank, thanks for agreeing to come on the radio with us. We agreed nothing. You agreed. Love you, Mel. I don't love you. I don't want you. Okay? B- bye, Mel. That makes it real clear. That was so easy. The minute I pull the plug, you're out of here. Just hang up. <laughs> Rooney and Moon, Moon and Rooney. One is strange and the other loony. When you need a fix of these guys, just turn it to the mix. 107.5. They're silly, zany, witty, brainy, just a little bit insane. Rooney and Moon, Moon and Rooney. One is strange and the other is loony. When you need a fix Ah, uh, these guys just turn it to the mix 107.5 You make me wanna smoke <sighs> The 
High Plains Best Morning with Rooney and Moon. Mix 107.5.